beautiful friend, bonjour and um, welcome back to our special Thanksgiving with Eating Well with Muriel. Okay, so today we have something super fabulous. It's a lovely butternut squash gratin with macadamia nuts on the top instead of having our usual breadcrumb. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? Let me show you my ingredients. So I have six cups of already cut butternut squash. We can, um, you can find that at the store, it's already cut. If you don't, good for you, and good luck with cutting the squash. Uh, I have some, <laughs> no, it takes forever. <laughs> okay, no, but you get to that. All right, okay, so I have the one ounce, 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 a little thing of sage. I have a teaspoon of pumpkin spice, a teaspoon of olive oil, two garlic cloves, you see three, but it's actually two because they're tiny, a large red onion cut in half, or you can have a small red onion, one egg, one tablespoon of butter, I have a quarter cup of skim milk, a quarter cup of cream, and a half a cup of macadamia nuts that I'm gonna crush, okay? That would be our crust. All right, let's get started. Okay, so since we are so organized and amazing, excuse me. Yeah, that was my cameraman. She, she cannot handle this. All right, so um, <laughs> that was Chloe. Okay, so butternut squash already cut because we're so fabulous and organized. Six cup cut in um, this much. Okay, I'm gonna steam this for 15 minutes and then we're gonna start sauteing things. So let's steam this to start, okay? Okay, so this is in the same cookbook, by the way, that the one I talked about yesterday. Happy, healthy holidays. All right, now let me show you what I'm gonna do. I am gonna add a little olive oil to my skillet. I'm gonna chop my onion very finely, my garlic, saute that in my skillet for about five to seven minutes until it looks translucent. I like that word. Oh, eight minutes. Okay, onion done, garlic. You can also use a little garlic crusher. Garlic crusher? Or you can chop it, of course, minced it. Okay, let's put a little olive oil in the skillets and let's get going. I'm gonna just butter my little pan, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna mix together the egg, the skim milk, and the heavy cream. Oopsie. I know it doesn't seem like very much, but because we are steaming our squash, it's gonna be nice and moist, all good. Okay, I'm gonna chop my little sage, reserve some for decoration. Macadamia nuts, you can either use a mortar, it's gonna take a while, and since it's Thanksgiving and you're cooking so much, um, I'm gonna put in my mini Cuisinart. Okay, now it's been 15 minutes. Our squash is ready. I'm putting it with our onion and garlic in the skillet. I am also gonna add my pumpkin spice or five spices. And also I'm gonna sprinkle my little sage in it, okay? Cook everything together, you know, uh, two seconds, right? I'm just mixing it. And I'm gonna put it in my tray, my baking tray. And then I'm gonna add my little egg mixture. All right, let's do this. Take the macadamia, put them on the top, okay? Don't like macadamia if you're allergic, you can replace with anything you like. Otherwise, uh, feel free to use panko gluten-free bread crumb if you like that better. And remember, we reserve our little sage for decoration after. This is gonna go in the oven at... <laughs> at 375 for 30 to 35 minutes, okay? Remember your squash is cooked, so you really want the eggs and cream and skim milk to cook properly all together. Make it a nice gratin. Okay, check it out. How lovely butternut squash with macadamia gratin is ready. So look at this, I'm just gonna decorate to show you, you know, you know what to do. But I'm just gonna 
get the book the cake up I gotta cup up. Okay, and now I'm just gonna serve a little bit and I'm gonna have Chloe, my famous editor, director, producer, coming and trying it with me. Hello. Here we am. Little heart plate is so cute. Okay. From our heart to your healthy heart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot the salt. Mmm. Mmm. Well, I like the sage. Mm. Nice, huh? Nice flavor it's with the yummy. sage. Everything is so lovely. And here you go. This is a great Thanksgiving dish to add to your collection of Thanksgiving tray, plate, blah, blah. And um, I hope you really enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching Eating Well with Muriel. Happy, healthy Thanksgiving to you all. If you love this, give it a thumbs up. And um, what else do you do? Uh, button, click the red button. That's right. She's, the best. She's way better than me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I uh, will see you next time. A bientôt.